All right, this video is uh, to show you how we can reverse the shaft of an NTM 3542 and maybe this applies to all the other NTM uh, motors from uh, Hobby King. So the issue here is that I want that shaft to go that way, not that way. I'm using this uh, for uh, planes that require uh, folding props and I'm going to be using hub spokes or you know, spinners and I don't want to be using the prop adapter that you know came with this I don't have it here but the idea is we need that shaft to go that way that way when it spins you know we just attach the the folding prop on this side so tools that you need a device I need something to you know push the shaft down later well I'll show that to you something like this a hammer sorry and uh, I think this is a two millimeter uh, hex or allen wrench or whatever to loosen up the grub screw over there because if you don't loosen that, you won't be able to pull the thing out. So first thing you need to do is remove that collar. That collar over there, pretty easy. Uh, you could use two small screwdrivers or a uh, long nose pliers. But anyways, I already removed it in advance, so I'm just going to take it out. Once you remove that, uh, you can unscrew or loosen up the grub screw in there All right so just loosen it up and basically after that you can basically pull this out and voila there you go keep this on the side oh by the way this is this uh, motor is using a four millimeter shaft now you need a collar like this It's a four millimeter collar i don't know where i get it i i got this but it's in my toolbox i have a few i think it came from a uh, uh what do you call that a prop adapter accessory kit from hobby king uh, i can't find it i only use ntms and turnigy sk3 motors i uh, look at the hobby king website the sk3s have a five millimeter uh shaft so i'm pretty sure it came from hobby game but i can't find the exact part but this is what you need to go there so that you could lock this later so let's pull this out or you know remove this because we're going to reverse the shaft going that way so for that i need this and then Okay, so what we need to do is push that shaft down. So I just use this to over here, make sure you have enough, you know, to, uh, the gap is enough to for the pin to just fall down. So now you'll probably by that time I just use this small screwdriver and then. Pin this out. Now, you will notice that the shaft for this specific motor, there's a uh, there's a guy on YouTube who said you know he he used a Gremmel tool to shave part of it so that this part the grub screw can you know bite onto something, but in this case it's already done there. So there's already some sort of, uh, they grinded it already. So next step is to 
reverse the shaft. So that's the original one. This is where the shaft is. Now we need to reverse it so it goes that way. So this is where the the collar used to go. You know that small piece that I took out. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't I don't think we're gonna use that anymore. So make sure that the shaft with that shape part goes this way. So I'm gonna and then slowly hammer it. Oh by the way my vice has a rubber uh, so it absorbs the shock, it doesn't go to the metal right away, so. Now at this point, you need to measure, you know, just to see if it has enough there to, you know, put on your collar there. So you just you know, keep on hammering it until that uh, shaved off part shows off so so there you go so now I have that uh, you know, shaved part I will just put my uh, collar here but you see there's a bit of uh, so what I do is just reverse it and then hammer it slowly until it is flush or Make sure that uh, the grub screw has enough, you know, space for it to to hit that uh, shape part. So after that, I will just tighten the grub screw. So, and tighten the grub screw here. There you go. That's how you reverse a shaft on an NTM. Prop drive motor.